let's say that we have the vector 3, 2. We know that we can express this as a weighted sum of the unit vectors in two dimensions. Or we could view it as a linear combination. And you could view this as 3 times the unit vector in the x direction, which is 1, 0, plus 2 times the unit vector in the y direction, which is 0, 1. And we can graph 3, 2 by saying, OK, we have three unit vectors in the x direction. This would be 1 right over there. That would be 2, and then that would be 3. And then we have plus 2 unit vectors in the y direction. So 1, and then 2, and then we know where our vector is or what it would look like. The vector 3, 2 would look like, would look like this. Now let's apply a transformation to this vector. And so let's say we have the transformation matrix. I'll write it this way. 2, 1, 2, 3. Now we've thought about this before. One way of thinking about a transformation matrix is it gives you the image of the unit vectors. And so instead of being this linear combination of the unit vectors, it's going to be this linear combination of the images of the unit vectors when we take the transformation. What do I mean? Well, instead of having three one zeros, we are now going to have three two ones. Instead of having two zero ones, we're now going to have two two threes. So I could write it this way. Let me write it this way. The image of our original vector, and I'll put a prime here to say we're talking about its image, is going to be three times, instead of one zero, it's going to be times two one vectors. That's the image of the one zero unit vector under this transformation. And then we're going to say plus two. Instead of 0, 1s, we're going to look at the image under the transformation of the 0, 1 vector, which the transformation matrix gives us. And that is the 2, 3 vector. 2, 3. And we can graph this. If we have 3, 2, 1s and 2, 2, 3s, what I could do is overlay this extra grid to help us. So this is 2, 1. That's 1, 2, 1. That is 2, 2, 1s going here. And then we have three two ones right over here. So there's three two ones. Let me do this in uh, this color. This part right over here is going to be this vector. The three two ones is going to look like that. And then to that, we add two two threes. So this is going to, let's see, two and then three. So this is going to be one two three. And then we have two two threes. So we end up right over there. And so let me actually get rid of this grid so we can see things a little bit more clearly. And so we here we have here in purple, we have our original 3, 2 vector. And now the image is going to be 3, 2, 1s plus 2, 2, 3s. So the image of our 3, 2 vector under this transformation is going to be this vector that I'm drawing right here. And it le looks, when I eyeball it, it looks like it is the 10 9 vector, and we can verify that by doing the math right over here. So let's do that. This is going to be equal to 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 1 is 3, and we're going to add that to 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, and indeed, you add the corresponding entry, 6 plus 4 is 10, and 3 plus 6 is 9. And we're done. The important takeaway here is that any vector can be represented as a linear combination of the unit vectors. Now when we take the transformation, it's now going to be a linear combination not of the unit vectors, but of the images of the unit vectors. And we saw that visually and we verified that mathematically.